So, Rob, uh, GlaxoSmithKline's Chinese, Chinese operation has been accused by the Chinese police of corruption and bribery on a, a grand scale and from the top down. It's very bad news for Glaxo, but the share price this morning has barely moved. It's down less than 1%. Why do investors not care about this? The first reason is because this is now an old story. It is coming to the head in, to a head in the headlines, but we has been developing since last summer. News of the investigation came out then, and the impact on Glaxo's business in China was almost immediate. So third quarter sales last year fell something like 60% in China. And we've seen that recover a little bit since then. But as the revenue has fallen, we've also had the steady drip drip of uh, comments from the company. Yes, we're cooperating. We're firing a person here. Yes, some people seem to have violated the rules and so forth and so on. So much of what of the damage has already been reflected in Glaxo's share price. Mm -hmm. The second reason is that, for instance, in 2012, Glaxo made about 700 million pounds in China, which makes just under 3% of Glaxo's total business. So it, the news has been out already, and the China business at this point is not that big. So it's a small part of revenues. How big a part of profits is it? We have no idea. And because uh, Glaxo, like virtually every other global pharma company, doesn't talk very much about its China business. Glaxo is, in fact, unusually forthcoming in that it actually gives you a revenue number. Many don't even do that. They give you a sort of growth figure without a revenue number. But we don't know how much Glaxo is invested in the country, how profitable is, and so forth and so on. So one thing this whole experience has brought to light is how bad global pharma companies' disclosure is about their Chinese businesses. And what should those other global pharma companies be making of all this? What, what do you think the end game is for the, the Chinese authorities and for other pharma companies operating in China? It's very hard to know how the degree to which GSK is guilty of what they've been accused of the accusations and the degree to which these are business practices that are uh, widespread in China, and an example is being made of GSK. And it's going to be a while before we figure those things out. So what we have to monitor is uh, exactly what the ch how far the Chinese authorities are prepared to push here. Do they mean to really debilitate GF GSK's business in China? And we just don't have an indication of that yet. Well, Rob, it sounds like uh, we've had a year of bad news for GSK in China so far and perhaps another year at least to come. Rob, thanks very much.